time for a Misha Dream Drive. There is history all over Old City, but probably not quite like this, Misha. Uh, yeah, no, it's true. For decades, fans of wood artwork have flocked to this spot. I learned a lot about wood on this Dream Drive, and now you will too. Ready for a Dream Drive? Let's go. There's no mistaking what's inside the Center for Art and Wood in Old City. Everywhere your eye goes, it is just these incredible wood sculptures. You have a whole range of objects made from artists from all over the world. Co-founder Albert Leekhoff started collecting wood objects in the 1970s and created the center in 1986. Part gallery, part museum, part library, part shop. His passion, wood turning, carving wood as it spins on a lathe. Almost everywhere you turn, everywhere. there's a great object. And of course, this one is stealing the attention right now. What is this? This piece is called Time Standing Still. It's actually the size of Bob Stocksdale. <laughs> Uh, this arm lifts up, Cute. and there's drawers in here, and there's a cabinet. Spud, meet yeah, Spud, Spud, you guys, he's so sweet. Tell us the story. This is made by Skip Johnson. He has hands. Cute. And when you move them, why don't you try moving them? Okay. Oh, cute. Yeah. He Look has at a, him. He has a built-in squeak. Oh, he talks so to you. So he talks to you? Yeah. The center also has special exhibits, like this collection of historic and contemporary mango boards, spelt like tango with an M. The minute I saw that, I was like, well, that's a skateboard, clearly. Yeah. But So what they were used for was smoothing out linen. Basically, they are the precursor for an iron. Where has that kind of detail gone, right? So it's really cool to walk in a gallery like that and actually see that. Misha, close your eyes. Okay. I'm gonna take something out. Okay, you can open them up. Okay. So I'd like to ask you, what is this? Circular object yep. that has a broken element? Yeah. Well, when you look at the ends that are cut, what do you see? <gasps> oh, I love that. A giraffe. That's right. And it's a tradition that the father would turn them and the kids would cut them and shape them and uh, paint them. Makes me think in the larger scheme of life, how many things we walk by that we would never think. Do you flip it, turn it, cut it, whatever, what it could actually turn into. That's right. And that's what's great about every object in our collection. There's a story behind every piece. Wow. Oh, thank you so much to our host for that. It was so cool, Raul. I got to tell you, Jim right away said, you know, I've walked by that place so many times and I never thought what was actually back inside mm. those doors. It was one of That's those old city? It was an old city, okay. yeah. And you got to see the big old wood door. If you've never Very been cool. in there, that door is so Cool. Love that. And yeah, who, you know, we always want to learn more about wood, yeah, right? Absolutely. It's one of those very things. close, too. Yeah. All right. Got to get there. Thanks to our host, by the way. They were wonderful. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. All right.